So I'm stuck in a vortex. Yes, it's a vortex. <laughs> I've been wanting to shoot out here for a while. <laughs> uh, I tried to buy one of the uh, the retired buses from here, but actually, funny story, the bus I looked at was retired from Hoover, and Vestavia bought it, which is the community next door. And they've had it for a few years, and then they retired it. My guess is that it had too many miles. I can't remember what the answer was. Um, a lot of a lot of districts have different guidelines on when they retire buses but um, some of them have to do with mileage some of them have to do with age some of them are um, the the my first schoolie my first school bus um, was retired because the floor was buckling it had a wood floor and it came from Ohio and I guess the kids tracked in enough moisture in there that the wood buckled became dangerous so they had to retire the bus um, <laughs> probably in addition was cold starts or uh, I don't know the, the bus had a few issues um, even though I think I got like 20,000 miles out of it 12,000 I can't remember hell that bus is gone now so anyway um, I wanted to uh, to get out here and do I tried to I made an attempt to shoot this the other day and it was a, a trial attempt to see how I can send it's not a complex message it is a three-part message and I will get to that as soon as this ambulance splits there's a there's a fire station right next door. This is um, City of Hoover. Most of this is City of Hoover property. And I'm walking through a park, a really cool park called Moss Rock Preserve. So I'm out here testing my, my new uh, hiking boots um, for waterproofness. But I don't think this is the creek to do it. I think it's just a little bit too deep, at least for my boots. <laughs> or my pants. Let's see how far. Wow. That is. I'm trying to think of the other boots I have that <laughs> do this. So this would be easy if it weren't for my pants and holding the selfie stick. <laughs> Wow, this is pretty, pretty awesome to be able to walk in this deep of water. And my feet are getting cold like it's, uh, like they're getting wet. I think it's still, that's, that's a little bit too deep. I'm almost up to my ankles. But I'm thinking if I step in that creek, it's going to go over the boot. And these are pretty high boots, which is another reason I got them. But I'm out here testing the boots during a vortex. Polar Vortex. Um, I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks since they started talking about the polar, vo the polar vortex and how it's going to split. And that's what it's doing now. And it's pushing all this nasty cold weather down here. I'm in Alabama. It usually gets down in the 20s and teens, but just for a few days, maybe. 20s maybe for a couple of three weeks maybe and then maybe a week of teens the purpose of this video is to ask some questions of my viewers within the past year I've had an additional 1500 subscriptions subs people clicked on that red button below the video um, I think I had about 400 500 before that but within the last year um, I've gained an additional 1500 subs uh, before that I think I was this channel has been up since 2009 so within what is that eight years eight years I have added um, 400 
subscriptions. In the the next year, I added 1,500. So my question is, who the hell are you guys? Um, I I know quite a few of my subs that I've had for a while, but I don't know the uh, the new people. There's about 1,500 people that I don't know, and the question I've got for you guys is number one, who are you? Um, who are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me why our paths co um, collided. Uh, it should be something simple like, I like motorcycles too. I watch a lot of motorcycle stuff. Um, I'm into outdoors. I'm into adventure life. I'm into alternative living. One of those things um, should tell me a little bit more about you. And that's kind of in line with the second question, which would be, um, how did you find me? Um, did you click on a link? Did you, did you, were you just watching random videos on YouTube and mine popped up and you clicked on it and then you subscribed? Um, that would be a how you found me. I, some, so-and-so told me about your, um, bus videos or whatever. Um, that would be how you found me. And then the third question I would like to ask you folks is, um, what are you looking for? You came for this, but you saw that and you want more of this, you want less of this, more motorcycles, less school buses, adventure life, or more school buses, adventure life, van life, that's kind of stuff. Um, what are you looking for? Um, post in the comment section below. Um, most of my videos have about 70 plus views so if i could get 70 answers to that question if you're watching this video um, i would like to know the answers to those three questions um, who are you how did you find me and what are you looking for um, i'm about to make some changes to the channel and i'm kind of wondering where my audience is and what what their interests are so I, I may just tailor my my future um, productions to um, things that that you guys are interested in um, i'm sure if you're watching the stuff that i'm doing right now you probably like the stuff i'm doing if you're watching this certainly if you're <laughs> if you're clawing your way through this video there's something that i have to offer you guys that are interesting i'm just not sure what it is 1,500 people that I don't know. Um, I would I would like to know more about you folks. So please comment below. What would be exceptional is if you took out your cell phone and shot a video and posted that to YouTube and just posted the link below in the comments. If you did that, that would be outstanding. If you s stuck a, a cell phone camera in your face and said, um, Hey, my name's Bob. Um, I found you because of this. I like motorcycles. I like van life. I like this, all that. And I would like to see more cat videos. Um, that would be awesome. I would, I would have huge props for anybody that does that, especially if you've never posted a YouTube video before. I would really like to see an introduction. Just a quick... Uh, um, a quick introduction video should take you less than 30 seconds, I would say. Feel, feel free to post a obnoxious 20 minute video like this if you want. And it doesn't have to be well lit. You can sit in a dark room. <laughs> you, can, you can put a bag over your face. <laughs> I don't have to know who you are. I would just like to hear people talking. And uh, you don't really have to identify yourself. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just, um, Give me your pseudonym, your uh, your alias, <laughs> and, wear, and wear a sack over your head. I don't care. Um, but I would like some responses, and they're, I, I would say they're pretty easy. I don't remember how I found you, um, but I'm interested in these things. So please post that in the comments below, and, uh, and I will respond accordingly. 